What's something we all just pretend no one does, but in truth we know we all do it? It is not the picking of the nose that separates us, but what comes after. My dad, 2015. Judge other people. Winning fake arguments in your head. Picking your nose and finding that root boob that feels like it's attached to the base of the brain. Look up words that people use because we don't know the meaning even though we pretend to when they are talking. Intrusive thoughts that make us question whether we're secretly psychopaths. Recently I had to insist that my wife knocks loudly and waits before opening my son's bedroom door. I really had to explain why FFS I know he's constantly jacking off, but he would be mortified if anyone knew, especially his parents. Making up conversations in my head before something important. Like I will say this and then the response from other person might be this. Sometimes it can go for 10-15 minutes before I snap back to reality. Scratching your crotch. Read messages from the notification bar then pretending you didn't see the message only much later. Reading comments texts multiple times after sending posting them. Just to let the fact that you're a modern day Shakespeare settle in. Deliberately delay responses to text messages and emails, even though it would be convenient to reply. Fantasize about doing something someone you shouldn't. Assume you are above average intelligence. Trying to fart carefully so that it doesn't make too loud of a sound. Kids hide their profanity from adults, and adults hide their profanity from kids. Because both sides must maintain the illusion that the other side doesn't know that they know profanity. Panic clean before guests come over to then apologize for the mess. Smell our own body odor. I don't know if we all do it, but open a card and pretend not to see cash fall out while reading the card. Ha ha. Convincing yourself in your head that everyone around you is doing things perfectly and at full efficiency and expect the same of the people around them. No? Just me? Constantly talking to oneself, making weird noises, and doing weird dances while alone. Or is it just me? When you go into an aisle in the grocery store and you see someone in front of the object you're looking for so you pretend you're getting something else all while hovering near them waiting for them to leave that area so you can get said object. Picking your nose procrastination tell small lies particularly to make us and others feel better thinking about embarrassing moments talking to ourselves making up fake scenarios in our head coming up with the perfect comeback in your head long after the other person left get enraged at the things a bully did 40 years ago we think that we are special judge others then get over the top pissed when it comes back to us Lying about watching a video or seeing a meme someone sent you by text because you can't be bothered at the moment. Have a full conversation with your pet, I can't be the only one v. Make snap judgments about people based on their appearance. This could be anything from race, gender, age, clothing, hairstyle, facial appearance, etc. We make these judgments before we have time to think about it. It's almost instant. None of us like to talk about this because some of these judgments are controversial. We all know you sign up for the free trial and cancel it before it's over. It's okay I do it too. Talk to our pets and imagine there are responses. Look at the bowl after we poop. Fart in public. Fake it till you make it. Nobody's life is that perfect. Office workers slacking off for at least half of their working hours. 40 hours work weeks are antiquated for many of us. I know I can do my job in 15-20 hours week and the other 20-25 hours are me just kind of sitting around. Why don't we all just cut the bullshit and live our fucking lives already? I I'm sure there's actually a term for this but the thing you do when you're upset or hurt and then attribute it to something that feels more respectable to be upset about. Like instead of crying because you're mad that someone forgot your birthday spirals into the long history of wrongs that person has made. Because it's embarrassing to say that you just wanted to be a special boy for a day. Having a proper crotch scratch and then a discreet sniff to see if there's anything we should be worried about. Secret playlist of songs you don't want anybody knowing you're into. Take shits. It's something the vast majority of us do at least once a day, and could not be more natural, yet it's so taboo. I know people who almost shit themselves at school avoiding being known as the person who used the toilet for what toilets are for. Complain about others speeding and saying they're going too fast for no reason but giving ourselves a pass because what we are late for is really important. Calling in a professional after leaving something way too long. 
daydreaming about kissing cuddling with someone. No one admits to it cause it sounds weird as hell, but we've all done it and likely most of us still do it. Masturbate to each other. Use Q-tips to clean ears. We all know it's bad and you're just hurting yourself in the long term. But damn does it feel great to scratch those itchy, dirty ear canals. Fantasize about sexual relationships with people that you know will never happen. Getting an offer from someone that you don't want but still say you will come back later to take it. Google an unrecognizable number rather than just answer the call to find out who it is. Leave clean towels clothes in the laundry basket for days and putting off folding them. Put finger in nose. Why are all the responses about shit urine and farts? Looking at a couple and wondering what their sex life is like. Men pee on shit stains stuck to the toilet bowl. The more stubborn the stain, the more pressure we use. Talking to yourself. Try to fart as silent as possible in a meeting and cross fingers it don't smell. Screen calls and have my phone on silent. Lying about things like how are you? Or you need help? And so on. Sniff test clothing instead of doing laundry. Smell our fingers after a good crotch scratch. Get jealous of our friend. Kicking the ice cube that fell under the refrigerator, so we don't have to pick it up. Smell your own not hate it.